Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Liver. And right now, we are looking at the British Commonwealth. Now, right now, I know I said near the end of last video that we'd have some sort of big battle, some sort of, you know, you know, way to end the war quickly, but apparently, as I've tried this a few times off screen, um, we're not the war leaders, which we knew, but neither is Germany. I think that actually China, the Bai Yang Chinese, are actually the war leaders, so. It's kind of weird, and their prestige is pretty bad. They got a lot of pops, especially on the coast. But regardless, uh, basically, I replayed the last episode, and so we didn't actually lose these guys. It's always helpful if you replay things from time to time, and I should really pay attention to my own or take my own advice sometimes. But we didn't lose the guys during an Ipswich and stuff like that. So, but like I said, we have a couple comments to go through, and right now, if we let time go on, we should get a little event saying that we're no longer at war, hopefully very soon, just because. I tried this like three times, and it says we wouldn't be at war anymore, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, and that's how come I said that the Chinese are actually the war leaders for some reason, because we can't peace out with them. Let's see. Oh, well, I think we can't peace out with them. We need war score 12, so we'll see what happens. But, some comments. Okay, so first of all, um, what mod are we using? Well, we're using the Blood and Iron mod for Victoria 2. I almost said Hearts of Iron 4, but this isn't Hoi 4. This is getting close to Hoi 4 time, though. Very, very close. Okay, this is very weird. Like, three times. Oh, there we go. Exactly. Here we go. We'll keep everything we gained. In which the British said, um, oh, acquired British East Shandong, buying, this is from buying China, by the way, except for the peace offer, and we got, they also got British Canton, and acquire the Caribbean Islands. So, next time, I probably won't call them Chinese, because I didn't even realize that, uh, oh, there's rebels down here, too, that China fully westernized, they're considered a great power, and they're sixth in the world. Also, do you see something wrong about this picture? I didn't realize this earlier. How did Italy get all of Persia? I mean, don't get me wrong, they're our ally right now, which is great, but... How? Did, like, like did, did the Italians puppet Persia? Or maybe satellite them, or puppet them? Um, and then they broke free, and then Italy went back and said no, and then annexed them completely? I don't understand how they did this. That is insane. That is very weirdly green. Also, we have... Oh, Italian Africa. And they're down here, too. So... Yeah, I don't really fully 100% understand it, but then again, maybe I shouldn't understand it. So, we'll probably make enough money now. We're still trying to improve our military. Also, I did, actually, I went very, very quickly through Mexico last time off screen, just to kill them all off, and we actually did really, really well there. Uh, but yeah, overall, not too bad. Let's see, what else is going on? Jamaica, we did get Jamaica, which is great, 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 great. Let's go ahead and make some Afro-Caribbean infantry. Let's go with uh, planes and some artillery. That'd be really good to help cover up our holes there. And do we have... Oh, well, I guess we have some hostile occupations with some rebels. That's fine. But I think it's time to go to war with America. And as someone did say before, it's it's time for us to take New England. I think we'll take New England because they don't have a lot of war score. Or you don't need a lot of war score for that group. But we'll see what happens. Cool. And we need one more infantry for this group here, which we unfortunately do not have right now. We're still building up our forces a little bit. Let's get at least one more infantry. I think we can build it here in Charlotte anyways. Dixie Guard, thank you. And Charlotte is the group that we want to funnel more soldiers into. Thank you, thank you. Because we want to go to war with these guys. Spending is quite high. Actually, I'm going to lower tariffs by 5%. Wow, that's a lot of war reps. I like it. Chimney sweepers. A young boy arose from the inside of a chimney and gently sat on the roof. His face and clothes were blackened by soot from the chimney and showed that this was not the first time or the first chimney he had swept this day. Tired, he climbed down the roof and trotted off after receiving a penny from his house matron. The hard work that the city's young chimney sweepers perform has already aged many, and the committee has been informed to tackle the rough working conditions. We should consider the legislation to end this. Hard work is the foundation of good moral character. Absolutely, but the kid's got to be in school to learn and do other stuff, too. All right, so these guys are looking pretty good. Oh, we got more naval organization. Very good. But I think... I definitely, definitely, definitely. Ooh, let's do this one first. Or this one. Mm, this stuff is all good to do. Uh, I definitely want to kill off the UK more. I definitely want to kill them off. But we'll see what happens. Give us time and we'll do okay. And we're, hey, we're second world power. China is sixth, right below Japan. Actually, if that's the case, that I don't know if the Japanese could really take out China. They surely got a lot of you know spheres and stuff, but... Oh, baby. And uh, who can we do? Finland. Finland, Finland, Finland. Cool. So we're right... Actually, we're right just barely above the British Commonwealth, and then followed by France. Even America's still here, but once that industry is dead, it, they're, they're, they're completely gone. And Germany, of course, is a beast. We don't want to piss off the Germans. Oh, the Conservative Party as well. Actually, the British are still conservative. The French are fascist. The Japanese are conservative. Uh, the Chinese are reactionary. 
Americans are socialists, and Ital Italy is our Soviet Union right now. This is a very weird world we live in. But that's quite alright. Uh, we could spend a little bit more here. We could. What are we spending on here for? Enough? We did. Yeah, someone did. That was one of the comments from yesterday. We didn't have max spending on land units. Um, we could probably spend a little bit more. Oh, Mesopotamian expedition failed. The archaeological team in Mesopotamia is in a bad crisis, it seems. That the place of research was miscalculated by the chief archaeologist. In fact, they searched for months at the false place, finding nothing and remaining only with dirt in their hands. That is a heavy setback for the Confederate archaeology. We must begin over again, which sucks, but hey, things happen. Things happen. Low subsidies. All right, I mean, if you want low subsidies, 16%. That's fine with us. How many immigrants are we getting right now? America's getting 7,000, while we're getting uh, 8,700. Not too bad. Cool. And where are they all going, actually? Looks like the coast here is quite good. A lot of coastal people coming to the Carolinas, maybe northern Arkansas, California. Actually, you know what? I haven't shown you in a while. Let's look at population. So over here, Canada is doing some stuff. They're getting rid of the Native Americans over there. Very Canadian. And Texan and Dixie. Mexican is slowly being uh, phased out in this part of California and San Francisco. We still have a lot of Carabinos here. We have quite a burgeoning uh, Central American population in Eau Claire. But as you can see, Wisconsin is almost completely devoid of having Yankee majority culture, as well as Iowa and Michigan's doing well, except Detroit's still holding out for now. And then we do have some Caribino as well. Caribino? Caribino? Texans, Texas is still Texan. Parts of former Mexico are becoming more and more Dixie, which is awesome to see. And as well as Central America, look at that. Majority Dixie. Well, sort of. And then down there, Dixie is becoming strong over here. Obviously, these two areas were very strongly Dixie. Panama Canal, obviously, as well as this one down here in Panama. And half of the island of Hispaniola is now Dixie majority. Or close enough. Which I think is great. Great, great, great. Oh, and we have these guys too. Yeah, uh, we might want to actually expand, expand these guys too. Let's let them go on a little bit more. Um, actually, Caribbean island. Where do we have... Ah, so th these guys have that. That's fine. Where is our ships? Where are our ships? Oh, uh, you guys are still down there? Ah, you're still here. That's fine. Uh, that was a comment from yesterday as well. For us to do this and, like, take all these islands. We'll get there eventually. Arch I'm, not, I'm not going to... Oh, no. I'm sorry, Argentina. No. The riches of the colonies flow to our nation's coffers, but it's not only in monetary terms that our nation benefits from its possessions in the New World. The single biggest gain from our colonial presence lies in the continual expanding venues and fields in which our technological advances can be applied, tested, and tried. Certain Willow philanthropists in the CSA have decided to fund a colonial exposition to celebrate our colonies, missionaries, and our empire. The question is how should we advise the exposition? A celebration of our technological, technological prowess, or a grand salute to the empire? A rousing cheer for the Empire, a game more consciousness in Cuba, but more prestige, or long live the captains of industry technology. I... That's a lot of research, but all pops give more consciousness. I prefer Cuba only getting consciousness. That's fine. So we'll send these guys home, and we'll get some more ships so we can blockade the USA, and we'll probably take them out with the help of Canada. So, Oh, I did not select them. My bad. Here we go. Thank you. Alright, so we should be making that division very soon. Oh, Honduras integration? Heck yeah. If that's the case, you know what, we can spend a little bit more. Let's go back up to 20%. And actually, do we need a war justification? We probably do need a war justification against these guys. Oh, we have a truth with them, though. Okay. Well. Until 1915. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, we gotta find a new enemy to fight. Oh, they have some rebels in there. New York, just above New York City. American fascists. Colombia. How about you this time? I think at this point, I'm gonna make these guys a puppet. It doesn't cost an extreme amount of infamy. So, I think that'll be okay for us to do. I like to get as much of South America as a puppet anyway, so. If that's a case, you guys are actually, you know what? Get back on the boat. Get back on the boat. We still have some battleships, which is fine. Head on down to this area. Confederate Survey, like you about that, please go right ahead. Don't want to lose any more uh, plurality, which is good. Attend the 5th Olympic Games. Yes, we will attend. Lose a little bit of money, but that is a okay with us. Actually, you know what? We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, 1, 2. There you go. A little bit lower tariffs, but slightly higher taxes. There you go. And we should do pretty darn well against these guys. Should. Doesn't mean we will. So we're probably going to go back to war with uh, 1915 up there. Oh, we were detected. Rebellion in our ally. I don't really care. Oh, look at Mexico. They went fascist. Brilliant. Well, they have, they have a unique flag. Uh, we have a truce with them until 1916. But uh, with Mexico there, like... That's not what Mexico looks like now. I um, mean, we've really beat the crap out of the Mexicans. We love Mexicans here, though. And we need some more planes. 
Um, are you guys done yet? They're getting there. They're getting there. You guys are infantry. St. Thomas infantry. Let's grab some of that too. You make that... Oh, wow. That's a lot of dudes. As much as... Eh, that's good enough. I don't really care. There you go. Good at wheeling. You guys go to one, two, three, four. That's completely surrounding them. Not bad. Up next, we will just hang out in Hamilton then. Because our ally will get attacked quite a bit. And the needs to come over here. What we need is at least one more plane, which we'll grab from Mexico. A um, Mexican plane. And then we need one engineer, four artillery pieces. One engineer. Engineer. One, two, three, four. Followed up with... Um, we need to get five more infantry. So, one, two, three, four, and five. There you go. Another good little army. No distinction of saving which class over whom. Uh, sure, Argentina. How long could it last? Lower the militancy. That'd be really good. National Parks. Oh, I love National Parks. In order to protect the scenery and nature of the Confederate wilderness, a service has been created to allow the flora and fauna of the country to thrive unhindered. This National Park service will prevent the natural environment from being unnecessarily overrun by human development and will show to the CSA, her people, the world, the true beauty of the wilderness. We shall protect America's natural bounty. Absolutely. It's always good to protect nature. Sometimes at quite a high cost, but that's okay. Dividends, thank you. And we got to make sure we continue to increase... Um, hey, look at this! San Pedro, where's San Pedro? Uh, that's not the right San Pedro. Ah! San Miguel? San Pedro? Oh, Sola, there it is. Oh, awesome! So now we should be assimilating people quite fast down here. Oh, we have 100%. Uh, Bureauc Bureaucrats here. M Ma Manchu? Nice! Central America, Afro-American, Spanish, Manchu, Galician. Oh, people are going to become Central American or Dixie culture. We love it. There you go. All right, so what are we going to do here? Increase relations because we can. Doesn't really matter to us. We don't like those guys. Japan. Increase relations as well. Nice. Two armies should be good enough for this area, though. And now we can go back to war because why not? We have organization. We love the police state. Great, great, great. Are these guys being influenced by anybody? Hopefully not, because it's time to beat the crap out of them. We probably don't need to call anyone else into the war, but we'll see. Let's get our navy back down here. There you go. And this guy... How many times do I need to say, No more, you piece of garbage. Seriously, I don't want this admiral here. Um, there's a lot of admirals that are just not very good. You got, you're okay. Well, actually... Yeah, you're fine. Simon... Uh, there you go. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. Benjamin, no, that's too. I'm not even reading about that guy. Benjamin Mahone. He's indifferent, huh? That's hard to tell, but I swear to God, can we just fire him, please? All right, I guess we we'll go up there next. You better surrender, Colombia. S surrender now. I will let some of you live. I think we'll take out Venezuela next. Oh, wait. Is America fighting? Wait. Are they... Oh, it looks like they're fighting, but they're not actually fighting. Cool. Alright, so this is going to be pretty devastating for our army. Because of all the attrition, but whatever. Alright, well, I guess you guys just go on home. Maybe repair if you need to. Well, maybe end up down here, too. Oh, what's, what's the battle like right now? Oh, they've got a lot of dudes. Okay, head on down here, guys. I didn't see that. It's hard to see with that. Oh, we are gassing them, so... Oh, we're out of infantry. That's not good. Oh, we won. We lost a lot of guys. Yeah, it's impossible to see that. It's literally impossible. Uh, maybe don't attack them there. Uh, no, we're okay. Head down here, guys. And you guys... Uh, yeah, you guys could use some help. Head, head back on up here. That'll be alright. Comment side, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. A fine satellite, yes please. 
if that's the case, we're going to come back up here and probably grab another guy. Because we got enough soldiers to do this. Alright, so you're not looking great. We'll still be working on you. Come on down here, guys. That'd be alright. Now they're attacking us. That's good. And we'll get through these guys. Yeah, it's impossible to see. Almost. Take all the mountain and states, because these are easier places to attack the mountains. I'll go for the capital. Excuse me, as well. You know what? Let's go and do this, too. There we go. Take the capital and burn it. Nice. Let's grab some power electri uh, electrification. Or electrical power generation. There you go. There you go. Alright, not looking too bad. Come on over here. Hey, we sunk all 29 ships! Beautiful! I forgot we made the Panama Canal. I thought I'd go all around Central America. There you go. Sink it. Give it one month to help repair these ships, too. Tunja, very good, very good. And we can follow us as much as you like, man, but it ain't gonna do very much for you. And there we go. Let's get out of that war. Not bad, not great, but not bad. We did suffer some casualties, but that's okay. Hey, now we can uh, interfere in these guys and actually build up their, uh, Roads. We can't build our own roads, but we can build roads in other countries, which might be a little bit unfair, but whatever. Gotta love the Whigs. Uh, we're gonna lose a little bit more now. Alright, Sabotage. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Rooker's Union. Eh, there you go. So we still need what? Actually, I might just send you guys home. Come on over here. Are we still building up that one division here? Maybe? No? Oh, I got some space. So. What do we need? Uh, we gonna need... Yeah, Stormtroopers would be nice. Get some planes. Grab one more engineer as well. Or no, yeah, I'll grab an engineer. I was thinking about armor, but we'll wait. Let's get those guys on there first. Alright, let's cut down to a little bit more infantry because... As much as I want to go to war again, um, it's probably just best to wait. Oh! Conservative Party rocked by a scandal. That's not good. Oh well. It is what it is. And keep an eye on this stuff. We can make an even bigger army, which we will eventually. Um, what's going on here? Germany? Oh, I'm not going to piss off the Germans. But the yep, the Brits did that. As much as I want them to acquire more Avia, I don't want to fight Germany. There's no way I want to do that. Ah, dividends, very good. Happy 1914. There you go, increase relations because you can. Oh, we can throw on a few more guys here? Oh, no, no, it's... 100% uh, is pretty good, actually. There you go. Seventy-four percent here. We got enough money for to increase that, which is nice. Actually, nothing over here. Okay, that's fine. Combine all three of these guys together, and throw on one more infantry. That's fine. How are we doing over here? Forty-one percent is not ideal. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Not great. Well, we're still prestigious, number one. Third biggest army in the world, which is nice. Confederate South America, very good. And actually, since we're doing that, form an alliance, they will, unfortunately for them, accept. And now our total population is 102 million. Are they allied with the Dutch? The Dutch aren't really that strong. I mean, I want, I want them. Let me go to Ecuador first. Eh. They're, they're puppeted and allied to the Americans, which means we will kill them off later, so that kind of sucks. Peru's already with us. These guys are already with us. Venezuela, the Dutch. How strong are the Dutch? It's mostly capital ships. If you can beat their navy, you can beat the Dutch. Let's build another navy. Build five ships there. That'd be good. Uh, give it some time. Cut down more on infamy. And then we'll go to war with those guys. Sure, guys. Fascist soup kitchens. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. I'm not going to lose a little more plurality, please. Thank you very much. Uh, remain calm for now. It's fine. Uh, and we still need to talk about that battle that we had near the end of last episode, too. So, 
Um, what you got? Thank you. So over here, someone again. I was reading your comments. I always, I always read the comments no matter what. So over here, this is not very good defense. So that was my mistake. Uh, we lost because we didn't have a defensive bonus, and we didn't have max unit land unit funding. So that's why we lost pretty darn quickly. Um, someone did recommend we invade Scotland instead because of all the mountainous terrain, like I said earlier. So that should be really good to defend in. Um, you need a very large army to defeat the British, which is absolutely true. And someone did recommend we take the other two Caribbean regions because we'll probably need them later on. We'll probably will need these, all these regions. So actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, they are allied with quite a few guys, including us. But will they go to war with us if we try to take out Venezuela? They might. But oh, immigration rights, police, local police, uh, problem. That sound selection. It's fine. Oh, the Golden Andes. Crackdown on communists. Yeah, I see that one. Uh, the Machu Picchu. Oh, how do we do this one? The Gold of the Inca. The discovery of Machu Picchu has generated nearly interest in affairs considered an archaeological expedition in the Andes Mountains. The legendary tales of hidden cities, vast gold treasures, and valuable artifacts are only an illusion, and an X never ever marks a spot. But now that archaeology has become a high regarded science, we should send some experts to broaden our minds. Since we control all of this region, we can begin directly. We might as well. And to expand this, we need all cores, which includes... <sighs> it wasn't Mexico. What was the other thing we needed? I'll, I'll double check. But if we do this one, we gain 15 more infamy. So we really need... We can't really go to war with too many other people right now. What do we need? I can't remember now. Was it this stuff? No. Was it more Mexico? It might have been more Mexico. Oh, who... Oh, Oxa. Huh. Um, what was it that we needed? It wasn't this. I just puppeted these guys, but still... Where's the diplomatic thing? There we go. Um. Oh, is it right here? Oh, we need to go to wait for Mexico again. Okay, so that's really the next one. Um, we could do a, go ahead and do it, but we lose a hundred and hundred prestige, which is pretty darn bad. We have until 1916, so that's really the last piece we need. We couldn't take it because of the war score. Just war score costs so much in this game. I think it's probably best to cut down on MVP for now, so I guess I'll see you when we can go to war with Mexico, just because we can. The expedition begins. The Peruvian sun scorches our skin. We have left Cusco only one week ago. Entering the endless lands of mountains, the majesty of the Andes is overwhelming in the ravines deep like the gorges of heck. Henry, my fellow student from 20 years ago, has joined this journey to undiscovered lands. His nose and eyes are deepened in a book, so this is the way they took the... He asked in, in passant. No wonder they got lost. My only response is a nod. Henry is an experienced archaeologist, a highly regarded personality. Unlike me, he was able to climb the career ladder. That's, they say that he would be able to find Alexander's tomb in a second, only wandering in its mirror when others dug for centuries, only excavating some old chicken bones. This airplane is ready, ready I mentioned. Wiping the sweat from my eyebrows, it's the moment when Henry puts his book away. A airplane? His sounds his voice skeptically. I don't like them. You know, I get sick in the darn machines. What about that car the government offered us? We go by car? Taking the airplane is a modern archaeological standard. What about llamas? Let's take llamas. Planes are cool. Uh, cars are cool, but rebellion and their ally, uh, they're not worth it. Austria Hungary. Oh, well, okay. They got so much for Austria Hungary. Now they're led by the Vata Landische Front. Now they probably want to reclaim other lands. Also, Italy called, into a war, called us into a war, but I didn't want to join them. Breakfast with llamas. Manco Kapak. Yeah, you two are searching for the remains of the famous last Incan ruler? Follow me, a native offered his service. Now we travel through the Peruvian mountains, our equipment and oneself, and ourselves carried by llamas. Henry is convinced that a voyage with this creature, which we are domesticated to reach even the most inhospitable areas of the Andes, will be more than useful for the new than the new technologies. But I went, when I turned to him, I saw his grim face. Henry, what does it matter? I don't trust this man, Henry answers. It'd be better if we buy the llamas and leave him instead. For now he knows too much. He is a native after all. We should trust him if he's aware of the Manco Capa. Um, he is a native after all. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, that's not very good over here. Look at that. Uh, soup kitchens. I don't really care. Don't lose any more plurality for now. And now people will probably want extended subsidies. 12%. 1.69. Acts on safety regulations. Actually, I kind of like that one a lot. I like this one too. That's not too bad. Let's do extended subsidies. You can have subsidies. You can all have subsidies. Just kidding. No subsidies here. Also, I think the Ottomans have gone to war with Bulgarians. So I'm like, eh, I don't want to get involved. Oh, and they're not doing well in Africa. But that's pretty normal. Actually, Bulgaria, can we influence you guys a little bit more, maybe? Give you a little bit more love. And Panama Canal. And we gotta get ready to go to war as well as here. We're increasing our division count as well, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Where did I put my ships? Oh, you're still down here. Well, we keep making more bodies, so... 
All we need are two more infantry. Why not? So we don't actually have to move these guys at all. Great. You guys head on home, because we got to deal with a lot of American uh, investment. Also, oh, weren't we here before? Days and weeks go by. I took this long after I realized that Henry was right with this assumption. This llama leader wanted to trick us. Unfortunately, it was too late. When he wanted to confront him, he escaped with the llamas. It took us days before we were able to return to Cusco, exhausted without equipment or success. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, next time? Well, we're not going to take him next time, then. Do we even get it next time, maybe? Oh, sure, why not? Yeah, Nobel Prize in Chemistry? Thank you very much. Uh, I think we're number two in the world for prestige, just because Germany's number one. Yeah, I don't, I'm not interested in fighting Germany, I'll be honest. They are... They are a beast. Uh, so, is this some normal America? Nope, they're fascist now. Which actually makes them stronger for military power, but whatever. Hey, we got some the CSS Dreadnought and the CSS South Carolina. I think that's pretty darn appropriate for... Wow, look at that money. 2,000, 2,100, Jesus. That's pretty darn nice. Hey, look at that. 52% of the poor people are getting their everyday needs, and 37% are giving their life needs. God, I wish we could tax poor people more. And I also have some armies up here, too, just in case. Uh, just in case. Come to, uh, come to Kingston, because that's kind of over a river, so... And start digging in. Hey, oh, a war to end all wars. From Slovenia. Of all places, Slovenia. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get an extra army backed up here in Manassas, just in case. And I'll continue you guys over here. And build eight infantry. Oh. We have an act of women's suffrage and the creator of civilization. All right. So we need eight infantry. Let's see. Can we get anyone from around these parts? Eight infantry. One. Uh, two. No, 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 no. This is two. This is three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then we have eight. So now we need two engineers. Go uno. And dos. And then get a bunch of Dixie. So we need eight of these. One. I'd like to use armor too, but let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to go with one Dixie armor to see if we can actually make tanks. We'll see. Because it's now 1915 March, or actually April. Oh, great. And actually, we're second and third in the world still for military power. Oh, uh, there you go. And we get deported, so be it. Current immigration is what? Oh! All roads lead to Havana. Routine maintenance of the road system in Durango threatens to spark conflict as road sign language has become an issue. While the local authorities feel that using their own language would be best, some voices have been raised saying that we might offend local sensibilities by not using the local tongue. Using local place names will hinder the province from integrating economically with the rest of our country, while using their own language will doubtlessly upset the locals. Regardless of which, the locals will still feel that all roads in the CSA lead to Havana. They get 7,700 while we get eh, 7,000, not as, nearly as much. Use Mexican? Use Dixie! All right, I'm, as you can tell, I'm just ready to go to war now. Oh. Wait, the Dutch. Oh, why do you, you guys just want to keep... I'm not ready. I don't want to fight the French. Oh, what happened to the Greeks? Are they communists? Oh, yeah, the Greeks are commies. Go figure. Go figure. Oh, we have too many guys here now. Oh, that's cool. Uno dos. Head on down here. We got three armies down here now. Um, and we're really cutting down more infamy, infamy, which is really nice, too. Uh, let's grab. I'll grab some more guards. I'll look up there. That's fine. Vacuum tubes. Very, very good. And now it's July, or June, I guess, technically. Um, actually, for you guys, we can't justify on them yet. Oh, they're losing six Olympic Games. Just please. Mysore, liberation of Marharas from Mysore. Confederate Red Star. And Dutch colonial conquest of Mauritania. Good luck. We have half a million pounds. We need more naval bases. Nice. Trying to get aeronautics as well. I love building up a massive military Russian nation. Wow, they are not doing great. Switzerland, can we influence you guys too? Hey, we'll see what happens. And the doctrine of fascism. That'd be weird. I mean, some people do want me to go fascist, but we'll see what happens. No guarantees. Oh, there we go. And we got that done too. Great, great, great. Culture stuff. We're going to wait. Advanced metallurgy. Let's go ahead and get some more market regulations. It doesn't cost that much. Seven, seventy-three fifty, And give us one more month. We're going to max this out too to do that. Uh, yeah, really not too bad. We're going to lose a little bit more money right now. But getting another month will help us lower infamy. And then we'll pretty much just go immediately to war. If that's the case, we're going to go boom, boom. Uh, let's go to 25%. Actually, no, let's go, go to 21%. And one, two, three. 
five. There we go. Oh, dang it. Oh, maybe not yet. Oh, we could... Oh, what is this? Dismantle Nation. That'd be kind of cool. Dismantle the Empire and pay reparations. Oh, that's a lot of infamy. Let's see. Liberate country. Release public... Take, acquire size. Acquire state. That's 11 infamy. That's a lot of infamy. I'm glad I waited for that. Actually, that's the case. We can load this just a little more again. That's fine. If we get caught, we get caught. It should... Yeah, I guess it's going to take a while to do anyway, so... That's fine. It just takes some time. And... And I do want to make sure that you guys can see pretty much everything that happens here. So, bureaucracy, 20, 33%. How's Illinois doing? It's 61%. Over here, 55%. Oh, we're down there. Good, 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 good. South America, Central America is doing quite well for us, actually, for uh, administration and measures. Although they're not a cores, which is fine, but still. And, of course, we get caught. Of course, why not? Of course, we get, ca we get caught. I'm going to put another army there. Sure, iron, yeah. Rosarito. Um, let's grab a plane. Nice. Well, that's the case over here. 91%. Wow. That is insane. Lockout. Everyone rebuild that. Please go right ahead. That's unconstitutional. Become more reactionary. I don't really care. Mission to the US of A. Yes, please. And then this was Finland. Yes. Let time go on. We've already been found out. Don't really care, though. And let's keep improving our relations with the good old people in Colombia. And maybe these guys. They're socialists. Actually, they're rank 11. So they're so te technically, they could rebel against us someday. And, uh... Stop being our puppet. Which is why I don't like using puppets oftentimes. Just because, can't, like, some nations can, like, actually get rid of that stuff for you. Get rid of that stuff. Break free of your rule, which really sucks. There you go. Support the movement. That's very good. And, ooh, 63 is... That's uh, a bit too much right there. What do we have? An engineer? Probably get rid of that. There you go. Go to Raleigh. Uh, actually, you stay there. These guys gotta move. Alright, so we got some pretty good armies around here. We got Boom Boom. We're gonna go up to Montreal as well. So now, we need two engineers. We go... Bing bong. So one, two, three. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tank. Followed up with what? So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you go. Going to cost us a pretty penny there to do that, but that's all right. Elections? Oh, boy. It's never good to have elections, is it? Uh, sure. Orderly elections are going to be about that. Please go right ahead. We shall see. Integrate them if you can. Don't really care right now. Uh, anything over here? Expanding, expanding. Oh, yes. Expand that, please. We have no... Make new distinction of class. Colonial corruption. We'll blame the capitalists for now. There you go. Cool. Hey, airplane more support. I love using planes. They're just so much better than, than horses, but... Surge of socialism. Hey, you know, if become socialist, so be it. Could be a lot worse, I guess. Uh, regional trade fair. Yes, please. Sure, all is well. Immigrant supported, and we're doing well because of that. We're gonna fight for a country. Hey, you're done there. Good. Alright, where else do we need some bureaucrats? Here? Yes, we do. Very nice. And can we make any more divisions here in Cuba? Yes, we can. Our capital. Uh, suck them full. What do these guys need? They need another plane. And get another guard. Get another guard. That's fine with us. You guys, not looking really great. So you need at least one more engineer. And get another infantry. There you go. You guys looking pretty good, actually. There you go. Get a guard. Hey, that's open. Our neighbors have come to our capital to celebrate the trade fair, which national pavilions from other nations and several different buildings and marbles highlighting our economic and cultural prowess of the visitors. A great spectacle for our region to enjoy. Awesome. Oh, they're still rebels, huh? That's good to see. Still the Silver Legion. We should be able to go to war soon, right? Yeah, we're three quarters of the way there, which sucks that it takes so god dang long, but whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Fifth, after we go to war with America. Hey, Austin's been integrated. Great, we got more prestige. Uh, well, our industrial score should may, might be able to make us go to the fourth in the world. Oh, oil, yes, please. How's no one else assimilating? We got Chi oh, the Chinese are assimilating here, somewhat. Uh, some Russians are. It's kind of cool, as well as Ukrainians. 
Soldiers need better food. Yes, please. To a population of 110 million. Not enough. Oh, wow. Look at, oh, wow. They, they fully became fascists with no um, elections at all. That is a unique flag. Look at that flag. I'm, that is insane. Oh, there's some power in the world now. Uh, actually, we're pretty much ready to go to war. Give it one more month so we can get a little bit more of this stuff. Cool. 7%. Promoter work. Oh, uh, sure. I'm actually okay with that because your lecture needs goes down and eh, artisan output goes down, but whatever. Immigrant attraction. Hey, almost 10% of our population considers fascism as a good thing. Political campaign. Mm, actually, how are we doing here? There's quite a bit of social support. They actually might win. Let's see what happens. I'm, you know, I'm relatively okay with the socials. At this point, it doesn't really matter. We do get full citizenship, so, you know what? Let's see what happens. Foreign cuisine, pasta, cool. All right. Oh, the conservative and reactionary still party won. Uh, but if the communists and the socialists united, they still would have enough support. The new American party is reactionary. And I think... The populace, yeah, reactionary Whigs, they won. Democrats are anarcho-liberals, basically. Okay. All right, well, whatever. We acquire a state. Acquire American core. Uh, if we wanted Massachusetts... Wait, so acquire a state. If we want New England, that's 43. Acquire a core, that's 30. That guy's go down. We want to acquire American core, which is weird we don't get that free Casas Belli. But we do want to get New England from these guys, so we're going to do that. We're not going to call our allies in, because I don't want to call in Germany at all. Because they would control everything, and we want to take as much as we can from this war. So, actually, Italy's below us, which is good. Um, let's call in Austria, too, because Austrians don't like Americans. You guys, yes. I really don't think we need to call in this many guys, but whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Here, the Ottomans, yes, please. Portugal, yes, please. I really don't think we need to call this many guys in, but hey, Spain. Yeah, it's good enough for us. Let's move in. They're not that organized right now, so... Oh, that's a bit too many guys kill. That's a bit too many guys kill as well. Cool. Head them out. And do we have anything over here? No, we don't. Which kind of is dumb. Um, I'll get rid of those guys later on. Wait, declare victory. That's fine. Cool. Hey, factory input tech. Kenyan economics. Why not? Go on in, guys. Nope. All right, let's keep moving on in. I know I'm ignoring the West Coast, but whatever. There you go. You guys go up there. Actually, I'm going to send you guys here then. Uh, how much score would it cost for us to take these states? So, we could dismantle the, the nation. Oh, War of Unification? Oh, that's true. Liberator Accord Territory, yeah. Actually, how much would that cost? So, Nevada, let's say it's 28 from Acquire American Corps. War of Unification would cost 40. Oh, we want to do Acquire American Corps. So right now, we are currently at, what, 30? Which is totally fine. So with 30, let's get Nevada, maybe, or 46 for Massachusetts. I do want to clean up the side over there, though. Uh, Colorado is how much? 33? But getting Massachusetts will really help us out. So if that's 46, 46 plus that is 76. Do they have something that's not as pricey? 28... Ooh, that's a bit too much. That's just a bit too much. Colorado? Well, maybe we can take Massachusetts. Maybe we can take Nevada and Colorado. Oklahoma's 30. And I'll take Oklahoma too. I don't think this will be too bad of a war for us. But I could be very wrong. Eugene von Böhm Bavak. Very cool. And Irving Fisher. Very nice. And we're going to go straight to war with Mexico. Hello. Send them in, boys. Nice, send them in. Oh, they're attacking us here, too. Great. Battle of Cleveland, that's fine. Um, yeah, not too bad. Oh, look at that. Help them out. Syracuse, yes, please. Come up here. Uh, are you guys in the war? No, you're not. There you go. Lost 10,000 to 18,000. Lost 650 forward versus that many other guys. That's fine. 
Cool. And you guys are done. Take Long Island. Wow, that's pretty bad for those guys. At least it's not us. Hartford? I heard that's a pretty bad city to live in, but maybe that's just me. Oh, we're losing a lot of money. 2,000 a day is pretty bad. It's okay, we could probably lose by a little bit more. Alright, so where are we at? So now we can spend what? 61. So we have about 61. Let's, let's keep it safe, but you're around 35 ish. Massachusetts would be too much. Nevada could be good. New York is 80, which would be insane. 35 ish. We could get New Jersey, Pennsylvania would be a lot. Probably Colorado, just so it looks better. It looks so bad. Here we go. go out of New York all canned food is good I mean yeah I see they're spreading out here but they're not gonna be able to do anything once we kill off all their armies here too so all right uh, head on over here guys help us stamp these guys out there we go nice Oh, they're attacking us here too? Well, we're on defense, so we should do relatively okay. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. They threw in a lot of guys there. And now we're going to be on a lot of debt or whatever. Scranton? Nice. Oh, you guys can come on here. Nice. Very good. Head on over here just in case as well. Come on through here first. Just in case. Oh, or not. Or just stay where you're at. Not bad. They threw in a... They threw in all their armies here. Might be a bit extreme, but you know what? Kind of understand why. Um, one, two, three. That peace deal is probably exactly what we want. Yep, I mean, one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. So, as someone did say, we should get New England. So, not bad. Looks kind of not great, but this looking so much better. We actually got these states done. Thank God. Oh, baby boy. Alright, so let's... I guess we'll send them down to New Mexico now. We don't need that many guys down here, but that's okay with us. So, you guys probably aren't injured that extremely badly, so we'll do boom, and we'll do boom, and then we'll do a boom, and then a kaboom, and we'll also do a kwaboom to raboom to... Ah, uh, what else do we want? Really, we could come down here as well. Maybe we can go straight to Mexicans' lands. I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to question things sometimes. And you guys are great up here, so come up here. And you guys come up here too. Uh, actually, we already sent it down there. That's fine. Let you guys do whatever you need to do. I thought we did quite well. There's a lot of fascists up here in New England. American New England had... So How much fascism did you guys have? Holy crap! <laughs> We're the most prestigious nation in the world again, but... Jesus Christ, America loves its fascism. Holy cruddery nose. Eh, we can load that a little bit more too. There you go. Make a lot more money because we got to pay this debt off. Which is fine. I'm going to war immediately with Mexico. Second most powerful military in the world, which is great. Great. And since we're down here, what do we need? We need about seven more artillery pieces, but not really seven. We need at least one engineer and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven. Ah, six. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Not bad. Conserve support went down. Soviet. They're demobilizing, and get some more dividends, and pizza and pasta. Cool. And now they're considered still 7th in the world, so we took, actually, uh, uh, how many more bureaucrats do we need in these states? Quite a few, huh? That's looking a little better. Over here is not looking too bad. Down here is looking pretty awesome. Every state we take, we're going to go ahead and put some more bureaucrats up here. Oh, people, look at that. People are actually emigrating from America. A lot of people, we're only getting 137 immigrants from the U.S. of A. Wow. I've never seen America actually lose immigrants. That's, that's kind of insane, not going to lie. Um, but it's time to go back to war with Mexico, because we can. That's 100 score. If we acquired core, that'd still be the same, so. All right, if we fail, let's go. I have a feeling we probably won't fail, though. Let's just be real here. Uh, you guys head on down. You go straight to there, and you guys go straight to there. Oh, with some Mexicans over there. Oh, they're mobilizing, so whatever. Doesn't matter. More airplane attack and defense. Yes, please. Cool. 
Greece. Just trying to influence a couple commies. That's all we're trying to do. You want to help them out? Eh, 10, 11,000 were lost versus 17,000. Not too bad. Actually, this was not looking too good, just in case. There you go. Oh, what? White piece? You trying to pull a fast one on us, son? No, 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 no. Prestige is pretty good. Our industry is eight. Like I said, we went from fifth, now we're fourth. Actually, because oh, is it because of New England? That's actually because of Ohio. New England is now third. Illinois is at second. Yeah, every state we took from the Union, Union gave us a lot more score, so. We love the Union, as long as it supplies us with enough stuff. Nope. I'm not even going to get involved. I, Italy... Look, I know we can help you out with Croatia. Why do you call me and help out with Croatia? Mexico. 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 Son. Baby. Dude. Look, I get it. You don't want to lose your capital? Oh, Southern Hospitality. Um, I forget what we did last time. We can lose some militancy. We get... We lose consciousness, get more plurality. We get way better assimilation rate, which I actually kind of want right now. We get less pop notice and stuff like that, but we lose assimilation rate. But we also lose infamy, which could be really good. I think we'll go with this one. I don't like hurting your assimilation rate, but I love getting more immigrant attraction. It hurts your pop consciousness, but we do lose infamy, which I love, 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 love. So, immigrate people, you people. Immigrate. Immigrate here like your life probably depends on it. Segregation, integrated by force. Guys. You're going to lose it. Forty, thank you. Welcome back to the sphere. We're at 83, so just give us a little bit more time. We'll have them fully done. Mm, I could attack that area, but they probably won't have that finished by the time we finish this uh, little campaign we got going. Guys. Oh, there you go. Hey, not bad. That looks like a really bad Mexican rum state. But, hey, we just have enough infamy as well. The rest of Central America should enter the Confederacy. As we extend our rule around the Caribbean Sea, our expansionism will attract ever more international opposition, of course. Eh, we lose some plurality, whatever. We lose a lot of prestige, actually, which is really bad. But we gain 50 more infamy. We get a corner on San Luis Potosi, Guanajuato, Querétaro, Tulancingo, Puebla, and Osaka. Very nice. We gain Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Panama on the core, as well as Bahamas, Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos. And our relations with everyone else is going to go down by quite a bit, but I don't care. Beautiful. Let's go on as well. Complete the Golden Circle. We're so close. It's almost not complete with all of Mexico and all the lands touching the Caribbean Sea. must be ours. The international community may unite against us, but the Confederacy will defy them all with the rebel yell, more, more, more. Wow. And which, if we do this one, we get 25 infamy. <laughs> You lose so much prestige. You lose so much plurality. You get a core on basically everything in Northern America. Um, holy crap. Holy crap. But back to America. Or the borders of America. So we'll go there and then we'll fill out things as need be. Because that's one of my end game campaign goals. Is to complete the golden circle. Do the best we possibly can. Actually, we can leave these empty for now. Um, actually, I might send you guys over here, too, just because I do have some dudes around here. Boise, and right there as well. They won't shoot up orders. Cool. Don't tech search people anymore. That's fine. Now we're the second most uh, prestigious, second most largest military, which is fine. But now we can't really go to war with anybody else. Just be Oh, integration canceled? Hey! Nationals? Ooh, we wonder about that. Please go right ahead in New England. Uh, let's see. So now this is, should be all core. We took this a long time ago. Dixie, Romanian, or, oh my goodness. Well, this is definitely going to change. Oh, look, it's even looking more Dixie-like. Oh, look at all this. Costa Rica, wow. Look at all that Dixie. Beautiful. Oh, that's so solidly Dixie, as we saw earlier. Even there's more Dixie down in Texas as well. Oh, look at this. Part of Wyoming Dixie. Almost all of California is Dixie, or just core population. Oh, Wisconsin, even, what was that? Kenosha? Or Milwaukee? That used to be more Yankee here, but now it's not. Great! Um, anywhere else that we have? 
this one as well, right? This province here is becoming even more Dixie. Are Mexicans, like, leaving or something? Or what's going on? We're just getting more Dixie. Just people. Maybe Germans? They're simulating. Love it. Belgium. Uh-oh. The disunited states. With the end of the democratic government of the U.S., there's a growing feeling among many Americans that the principles upon which the country were founded no longer apply. Turkish secession is frequent, if it quiet. And as unrest begins to grow, it's become increasingly more possible that the liberal-minded states will attempt to pull off the... Out of the Union? If they do, they we will be ready. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um, what happened here? Who rebelled? Uh, sure. Alsveria. Why not? Germans probably don't like us. Oh, oh. Oh, they're no longer allied. They're third. Eh, they're only third in the world, huh? There's us. Screw these guys. Um, we don't care about these guys either. Alright, well, whatever. We have no really strong allies, but that's fine, whatever happens. Time saving measures, might as well. Cultural enrichment, more bragging rights. We gotta cut down on our. Uh... What the heck is going on here? What are you doing, France? The Danish president, if you want to worry about that, please go right ahead. There you go. Well, I guess we gotta cut down on stuff now. So, exactly what provinces do we need? I mean, I'd love to take all these guys out, but we'll see. Um, yeah, someone did say, like I said earlier. Oh, no, actually, we don't need these provinces, do we? I mean, obviously we need all of Mexico now. Well, maybe not all of Mexico. We need at least Zacatas. Zacatas? So, th this region here is definitely what we need. Um, it's hard to tell what we actually need. Because these guys are still under us, which is great to see, but still. Um, do we need Venezuela at all? No. No. No, not that one either, huh? I'd love to go to war, but we can't really afford the infamy. Is there... Hmm. Is this it? No? So we need that. Is that it, maybe? Maybe. I, I kind of doubt it. Uh, we're all kind of okay by ourselves right now. Um, don't get me wrong. I want all this stuff, too, but... Ireland and Sweden? Sure, why not? These guys love us, as they should. So, alright, let's see what we can do here, too. We got tons of money. Just tons. Hey, we're the third most industrious nation in the world. Excellent safety. 8%, 3%, 15%. You can have generous subsidies. You know what? You want a little bit of subsidies? We can help you just a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, you can have a few subsidies. You guys looking okay. You guys aren't looking that great. I don't really care. I don't want to mess around with that. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is going to be a death stack here. Um, I don't know if our... Guys can really support this, but what do we threw in? One more engineer. This will be the biggest division I've ever made. And then three more arty. One, two, I lied. Get a tank. And then we're trying to. Uh, doubling up on the side might be a bit extreme. 10. That'd be 20. We need another 10 here. Uh, can Charlotte even support that? No, they can't. Ah, uh, let them come in here anyways. We can separate some of these guys out anyway, so that'd be fine. So next time we go to war with these guys will be quite a while. We don't have Germany to, as a springboard to launch into anywhere else. And we do need to save our infamy, so... Austria. Why did everyone turn fascist? And someone did say, yeah, Bulgaria's got quite the bulge. Yes, they do. They're bulging out. Also, we figured out where Pindus is. Pindus is right here. Which is very weird to see. It's right there. They're very Greek. Um, administrative... Eh, why not? Cool. It's 1918, so not too bad. This is a very weird world. How's China doing? Ludwig von Mises? Or Mises? Prestige. Uh, Ricard Khan. Russia is doing okay. I might increase my relations with them. The cause of freedom, if you want to about that, please go ahead. Spread the word. Yeah, why not? Oh, and oh, Romania did get access down here. Oh, they're fighting Bulgaria now. Look at that. Banking regulations, more tax efficiency. Sounds very nice. Uh, who else can we influence? Ah, oh, Switzerland. French American Summit of 1918. Oh, Austria, what are you doing? Ah, uh, I guess Slovenia. You guys could do actually pretty darn well, but I'm just going to do this anyways. I don't, don't want to get involved. When in doubt, people turn to fascism. 
And for no reason, one day, Hitler was elected. Uh-oh. Germany is beating up the Dutch. Huh. Alright, lightning is good. Lighting, I should say. Sure, why not? Confederate Free Corps? I don't really care. Go ahead. Nice. And now we're not making nearly as much money. I would like to puppet these guys, but at this point, I don't think it's really worth puppeting them. Just because we got to cut down the infamy. It's so bad right now. So, I did say I want to kill off the UK, but we have no one really... Oh, first minute appointed? Oh, well, that's alright. I'm sure it'll be perfect for the job. Grand order of scrap, huh? We almost have a billion in money, which is nice to see. And fashion soup kitchens. That's fine. The Purge. In this hour, I'm responsible for the fate of the American people, and thereby I became the supreme judge of the American people. I gave the order to shoot the ringleaders in this treason, and I further gave the order to cauterize down to the raw flesh the ulcers of this poisoning of the wells in our domestic life. Let the nation know that its existence, which depends on its internal order and security, cannot be threatened with impunity by anyone. Let it be known for all that to come that if anyone raises their hand to strike the state, then certain death is certainly theirs. What are you doing down there, guys? Or up there? 93. That's insane. Yeah, that's a bit too many guys. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let out one more. You guys are looking good. Don't worry about it. Uh, head on over here, too. I, I want to make sure we really contain the, this state. Oh, that's bad. Oh, God, I wish I could improve infrastructure. Climate Falls. Old World Blues. Yes, please. And I'll fix that probably up off screen. And Romania went fascist. Why is everyone going fascist? Is that a cool thing to do nowadays? I'm sorry, guys. I'm not coming in. Um, planes. 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 We need two planes. Uh, one. Two. And now we need eight more infantry. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and then eight. Lower that a little bit more, that's fine with us. Ah, oh, factory output efficiency tech, good. Nice, nice, nice. Admin, oh, National Banking Act, finally, cool. And let's do self inspection board for more money. The National Banking Act. While well, the government has for some time maintained a central bank, some voices within the economic debate have begun arguing in favor of monopolizing the issuing of currency to avoid a strict government prerogative. Proponents argue that this will lead to an increase in economic stability, while opponents see it as a fundamental breach of the freedom of trade. Sure, why not? Cool. Complete the golden circle, which we'll do probably in the next episode. So the next time, well, let's look, look at this first. 75%, that's actually, that's actually really getting really, really, really good. Over here, it's not too bad. Over here, it's getting a little better. Down here, part of Mexico is probably doing okay. We really need to get rid of these ships. We need to build a second fleet, actually. So, we'll probably do that between now and then. Uh, they're looking very good, too. And administration-wise, some of these states are looking just so incredibly god-awful. Uh, another seven here failed this time. All right, so you, we can go back to war with these guys in 21, which would be fine. Last and Act, if you'd like to build that, please go right ahead. The locals are free to do as they see fit. I'm totally okay with whatever they want to do for themselves. Then go back to war with Mexico in 1922. Oh, and Greece is cracking down. And Pindus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this, this is difficult. Just because exploding Durango, if you want to do about that, please go right ahead. I think we'll probably go to war with everyone here. I'd like to call in everyone. Actually, now that we're... We should be second power in the world. We can probably call everyone in. We'll go to and uh, Spain... Just shove a lot of guys in Spain and then invade the UK in the next episode. That's probably what we're going to have to do for this. Not too bad. But our score is really actually pretty good. Please, Germany, why don't you want an alliance, baby? Just because we do bad things here doesn't mean they're, they're bad everywhere. Uh, let's increase the relations first. And we'll end the episode. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got more fascist and reactionary support. Panama Canal dividends. Nice, nice. More tax efficiency. Cool. But we do need to cut down on infamy. What do we want to do here? We Oh, we... Actually, I want to, before we end, I do want to see if we can do anything else here. I don't want to go to war with Venezuela eventually, but... I want to see what war goals we can get. Can I dismantle the UK? I'd love to dismantle the UK. It is 1919, so... Oh, that's not good. Immigrant deported. Prestige. Yes, please. 
all as well. And what can we do with these guys? Foreign cuisine. Let's lower our consciousness just a little bit. There we go. And what can we do here? Dismantle the nation. We'll probably do that one. But if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll go back to war with the UK. And apparently Germany took Friesland. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.